Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing a bit more Space Engineers and what I thought I'd show you today is how to set up a gravity generator. So beneath me here we have a gravity generator that I've set into one block. Um, now I've already figured out the middle of this room um, both widthways and lengthways and I've placed the gravity generator smack bang in the middle of that. So first things first, what we need to do to help us set up these gravity generators is we can go into our control panel and we can select this here, go to info and select show gravity range. And now as you can see up above us I have some other gravity generators in the base and they're now displaying their fields in green. So then what we need to do is go into the control panel find our new gravity generator and we need to show on HUD and we need to turn that on. Right, so we exit the control panel. Now one thing to consider when you're setting up a gravity generator is that when you're setting up the width and the height and the depth you need to also include the block that the gravity generator sits in. So I'll just demonstrate that here now. So if we go into the gravity generator and we set the field width to 2.5 and we set the field depth to 2.5 Why 2.5? Because each block is 2.5 meters. We can see that it's a perfect square and it occupies that block. So then one thing I found quite interesting though was that to get the height right you need to set it to about 3.25 meters. So I'm not sure where Keen have put the midpoint for this um, gravity generator in terms of height, but yeah, that's basically what you need to set it to to get it to the top of that block. Right, moving on. So next what we need to do is we need to count out the amount of blocks this way, and then we need to double that because the field extends both ways. And then we also need to add the block that the gravity gener generator occupies, which again is 2.5 meters. So we'll count out these blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're 17 blocks wide. So 17 times 2 is 34. Uh, 34 times 2.5. My math isn't that good. 34 times 2.5 equals 85 and then we also need to add the 2.5 that this block occupies so we'll go ahead and set that to 87.5 so we'll go in here filled width 87.5 again that's 17 blocks times 2 and then you times that by 2.5 which is the width for each block and that gives you 85 meters and then you need to add 2.5 meters for the block that the gravity generator sits in. Right moving on so what I'm going to do here just temporarily is set this to around 5 and I'm going to set the field depth to around 5 as well just so it's a little bit, no I'll go 3.5 just so it's a little bit um, better for us to see Okay, and now you can see that the gravity generator extends all the way here. Okay, moving on. So next what we're going to do is we're going to set up the width. So that's going to, or the depth, that's going to be one, two, three, four blocks. So that's eight blocks. So eight times 2.5, pretty sure it's 20. Yeah, 20 and then plus the block that the gravity generator occupies which is 2.5 so then our value for the depth needs to be 22.5 so we'll set that and we'll go take a look now when we have a look here we can see that the gravity generator ends up right on this window which is exactly where we want it to end up Alright, moving on. So now what we want to do is we want to set the height. Now to set the height it can be somewhat tricky, at least in my case it will be. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around this corner here and we're going to look at the stairs. Uh, now these stairs, each one of these stairs occupies one vertical block while going two horizontal blocks. So realistically all we need to do is count out these stairs up to the top and then we have our value. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, if, if I set it just for nine blocks high, what's going to happen is the gravity field is going to come up to this block and it's going to go no higher. So we're going to have gravity all the way up these stairs and then we're going to get up to this platform here and then the gravity is going to cut out because it's literally on the floor. So what we want to do is we want to actually set it to 10 blocks so it reaches the top of this block that I'm about to place here or this line here. Right, so if we go downstairs, back to our gravity generator, I'm going to turn the jetpack on, get there a little bit quicker. Oh. Right, so we worked out we need to be 10 blocks tall. So 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2.5 is 50, so we need to be 50 blocks tall, or 50 meters tall, sorry. And then we also need to add the base value, which we figured out before at the start of the video, which was 3.25. So we need to set this to 53.25. Cool. Now we can see the gravity field is extended upwards. And what this is going to mean for us is that it's going to intersect with that gravity field there. And I wanted to do this deliberately so I could show you what happens when two gravity fields interact with each other. So when we go up here, we go through this door and we'll just step into the gravity field here. Now you see how our gravity has all of a sudden increased to two Gs and now it's back down to one. It's because at this t these two points, these gravity fields are intersecting with each other. So basically, what that means is that in this point we have two Gs. And it's not really ideal, um, because if the character falls a couple of blocks in 2G, then you die pretty much instantly. Um, now, one of the ways that we can fix this is we can set both of the gravity generators that interact with each other to 0.5 G so that when they do intersect with each other this value of artificial gravity drops from 2 G to 1 G. Uh, but I don't really like that solution. I like to have it all 1 G and nice and neat and tidy so to that end what I might do is actually move this gravity generator forward one block and then that will allow me to so what that'll do is it'll move it, move the field one block away from there, but then also it'll move it one block across, so it'll be out of this window. So then it means I can bring it back another 2.5 meters, which means I should be able to get an extra five meters or two blocks out of it, and we'll be able to get those two blocks back. Now, one of the other things is we could also use that gravity generator downstairs to extend all the way up here and we could reset the gravity generator in the middle um, and then what we could do is make the lower gravity generator extend all the way to this point here but I think the easiest solution for this would actually be to put a gravity generator in the hallway itself so maybe around there or maybe around there if we put it there though, what's going to happen is we're going to come to this point and we're going to get to this point and have gravity and we probably won't have gravity in the door. But that's not really a big deal. I think that's it for this video guys. So I hope it was uh, helpful for you. Um, please like the video and consider subscribing if you want to see, see some more tutorials. And I hope this video helps you. Have a good one.